It's time for Ask the Tech Guy. I'm Leo Laporte, and this week we're going to talk about how to use our Ask the Tech Guy chat room. Ask the Tech Guy comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Ask the Tech Guy brought to you as always by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This week on Ask the Tech Guy, our question comes from Kate in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Hello, Leo. I need your help with your chat room. For example, I do not understand how to register my nickname as a user. Great question. I want everybody to know about our chat room. We've been doing a chat in one way or another on all my shows since 1993, I think. That's a long time. And the chat technology we used then is still the chat technology we use today. It's called Internet Relay Chat. And it, by Internet standards, it's pretty old. It actually predates the World Wide Web. But it's a good thing to know, not just for our chat room, but in general. It's a very cool way to create community, to meet new friends, to get information, to have a bit of fun. Now, our chat room is easily accessed via the website, irc.twit.tv. But if you're going to use it for any length of time, or if you want to get access to other chat rooms, it's probably a good idea to get a chat client software that lets you access the chat room. Uh, the chat client that I use uh, on my Macintosh uh, is called Textual. You can get that in the Mac App Store. On Windows and on Linux, I use a free open source solution called Hex Chat. And once you download those and you set them up, and by the way, details on what to put in the server information are available uh, in the help page on our website at irc.twit.tv. And it's a simple matter of just launching the, the chat client, the Textual or the Hex Chat, and boom, you're in the chat room and you can chat with people. There are people in there 24 7. Not just when we're doing live shows, but throughout the day and night, uh, partly because many of our listeners are in different time zones. We have a whole Australian contingent that's in there overnight chatting with each other. But no matter what time of the day or night you go in there, you'll find moderators, people who have the power to keep control of the chat, to ban people if they spam or if they're obnoxious. And we think that's really important because as with any social network, and a chat room really is a social network, uh, it's easy for it to get out of control. Our moderators are actually community members. In fact, the entire chat room is run by the community. We provide the server. But and with a little input, we, we talk to them about, you know, how we want the chat room to run. But pretty much they get to do whatever they want. So uh, that's a good thing. I think it's a great community resource. IRC, uh, even though it's been around for a long time, has kind of been replaced in many situations. There's, there's software, messaging software like Discord or even Facebook Messenger that allow group chats, Telegram. Uh, and so a lot of people use that in, in a similar way to an IRC chat room, Slack is another uh, common choice. There's also uh, built-in chat on a lot of streaming services. Twitch.tv, for instance, has its own chat room that scrolls by on the side. We like using IRC because it's lightweight, it's fast, it has a lot of great tools for moderation, and it's accessible to anybody anywhere. You don't need a high-speed internet connection. You don't need a mobile device. You can do it almost anywhere with a simple chat client or even just a web browser. So we're, we're a real fan. Now, the good news is we do have instructions on how to use our chat. We actually have a wiki page devoted to it. Someday I'll talk to you about what wikis are. But uh, you've, you've already used probably the most popular wiki, Wikipedia. Uh, our wiki at uh, wiki.twit.tv, w-i-k-i.twit.tv, is like Wikipedia, edited by the community. Uh, kept up to date by the community and the chat rules and information that's there is is very good. Our uh, our uh, chat mods have kept that up to date over the years. So there's a lot of good information there. Start by reading the rules. I think that's that's fairly important because we do want to maintain a family friendly environment. And there are certain things that you know we just don't want to have people do. Uh, when you go there, you will find the answer to your particular question. Uh, how do you create and uh, register a nickname in our chat server? Um, 
That's important because uh, you want to go in there with the same name each time. If you go in through the website, you'll have a nickname that's randomly chosen, Web123, for instance, and it won't identify you as, as who you are. And I think that's really worth doing. So if you do spend a lot of time, if you go back more than once in chat, I would recommend creating a nickname and then registering a nickname. And that, again, is documented pretty thoroughly at wiki twit.tv. To do this, you'll need to use uh, a bot, uh, a program that's running on the chat all the time called NickServe. It's short for Nick Server, N-I-C-K-S-E-R-V. NickServe is not a person. NickServe's a bot. It's a program running in the background, but you can message it and ask it to do various things. To change your nickname from Web123 to something you like, uh, just type a command. The commands in IRC are preceded by a forward slash. So you'll type slash Nick, and then you'll give yourself a nickname. Choose something. Most of the time, people don't choose their real names. Uh, I'm Leo because I want to make it easy for you to find me in the chat, and I do spend a, a lot of a fair amount of time in there. I have it running not only during all the shows but at home uh, all the time in the background. But it's a lot of most of our chatters, as you'll notice, use handles. Sometimes it's something they've had since they were a kid. Sometimes it's something that tells you something about themselves. One tip, uh, I'm guessing uh, from uh, your question that you're a woman, Kate. And one tip that I think is probably, it's sad, but it's probably true, is don't choose a gender-specific handle. It's better uh, to keep people guessing. And um, women tell me often that it's better if you want to avoid harassment, and it does happen even with all the moderation, it's probably a good idea to not choose a, a nick that's specifically feminine. Having said that, there are people doing that in our chat room. They seem to be having a good time. So I leave that to you. The nice thing is it's easy to change your nick. Just slash nick and type a new one. But once you've got a nickname you really want to keep, you're going to message our little nick serve and tell it. And the, the command, again, is a forward slash... MSG, that's all one, no spaces, forward slash MSG that says, I'm going to send a message. You can send a message to anybody, but in this case, we're going to send it to NickServe. So it's slash MSG space NickServe, and then you're going to give it a command. If you're curious, you can do slash message NickServe help. It'll tell you all the commands it understands, and you might find some other ones in there that you're interested in. In this case, we're going to use the register command because what you're doing is you're going to register that handle with NickServe. And from then on, whenever you log in, that'll be your name on the chat room. Again, you can still change it anytime you want, but it's nice to use the same name. It gives you some, some continuity in your visit. Uh, so slash message, space NickServe, uh, register, and then you'll want to give it... Now, by the way, you've got to be using the Nick that you want to be using currently. So use slash Nick to change to whatever Nick you want to stay with. And after you type register, you're going to give it a password. Now, it's, it can be anything you want. Make it a decent password. You don't want to make it monkey123. You know all our rules for making passwords. But something you can remember, it's not super secure. No, nobody's going to get anything else from that password except your nickname. So, you know, make it something you can remember, followed by your email address. Um, I don't think our mods really care what email address you provide. So make up any email address you want. If you want to recover your password, you might want to use an email address you have access to. From then on, once you've registered, and, and Nick's server will come back and say, yeah, registered. Once you've registered a Nick, then each time you join the chat room, you'll need to identify yourself. That's another message to Nick's serve. In this case, slash message space Nick's serve identify that says I'm me, and then enter your password. It will look up in the database, oh, who's that? And it'll then give you your nick. And uh, that's a very nice uh, uh, feeling. Uh, if you're, depends on what chat software you're using, many chat clients will allow you to provide that information in your login so that you don't have to type it each time. But uh, all of that is documented very well, I think, at wiki.twit.tv. Just click the link that says IRC chat. And while you're there, read the rules, look at some of the other tips, and we've got some good recommendations for uh, software that you might want to use. I think our chat is a lot of fun. It's family friendly. It's a great way to communicate with me and our other hosts while we're doing the show. Remember, though, that we are doing shows, so we're not watching it like an eagle, but I do see it. I know the corner of my eye, I see it right now. In fact, Beatmaster, one of our mods, is saying, here's a pro tip. Type the command, and this is a good one, and I should have said this right up front. You can type that command 
anywhere. But if you're going to type a command like that, especially if you're going to be giving it a password, it's better to do it not in the chat room in case you mistype it and it gets publicly presented as a chat entry, but to do it in the uh, server room. You'll notice when you first enter our chat that you can join various rooms, but there's always the first room you join is always the, the main uh, server room, and that's probably the place uh, to, to enter any command like that. That way nobody else uh, will see it. Um, I think this is a really uh, great place. I love our chat. As I said, we've had it now for more than 25 years. Uh, I think it's been running continuously ever since. Uh, not the same moderators. We've had a variety of different moderators come and go. But all of them are great people, very ha helpful, very friendly. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy your time in here. So, Kate, I hope you, uh, I hope you read up on it, and I hope, you, uh, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you, whatever your handle is, uh, in our uh, IRC chat room real soon. IRC.twit.tv. That's the website for the chat room. You can use our web client, but it's also the information you'll enter into your chat program if you decide to come back again and again irc.twit.tv and again our twit wiki with lots of other information is at wiki wiki.twit.tv thank you kate if you have a question for ask the Tech tech guy as the announcer says just email ask the tech guy at twit.tv as always our show brought to you by lastpass lastpass is a personal password manager and identity solution for users of all stripes, including businesses, it helps you secure everywhere you work, everywhere you live. You can share passwords or notes within LastPass to other employees. It's my secure store. Passport images, driver's license, even my social security numbers. And LastPass now offers passwordless login options for employees. That increases security and productivity. Visit LastPass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. LastPass.com slash twit. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. On Ask the Tech Guy. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv.